Hi guys. So today's video is kind of part two to yesterday's video where I did the different um, glitter gels and text uh, texture paste with glitter. So I wanted to show you guys the results. Um, We'll just go in order of what they're here for. So this first one is the Texture Paste from Ranger, which is this guy here, the Clear Texture Paste Transparent Gloss from Ranger. We applied it through the stencils. I'll show you the stencils in a second. And we used some art glitter, crystal glitter over top of it. So it has dried completely. It has a ton of sparkle. Now there's a couple of spots on the edges where there's still some glitter. I'll just take a brush and a Swiffer and wipe that off. but. You can see a ton of beautiful glitter on there. This one came out amazing, very elegant for this one. Okay, the next one is the glitter, Glitz Glitter Gel from Gina K. This is in the color Turquoise C, um, and it's a greenish blue, very, very sparkly, high glitter concentration on this okay and you can see this one has some dimension as well I mean they, this one does too they all do but um, you can really see the dimension very pretty very high glitter coverage on this one for sure okay the next one is the Nouveau Glimmer Paste in Blue Topaz this is from um, Tonic Studios Nouveau so this one very pretty, very sparkly as well. Very high in dimension. And again, this, this one was the hardest to work with because the paste was a little bit drier and um, a lot thicker, but still came out very nicely, I think. And then the last one is the Brutus Monroe Glitter Glaze in Glacier. And this is the one, like I said, you, you really can't see this one until it's dry because the paste is kind of milky in color. Um, not as glittery as some, as some of the other ones, but still very pretty, especially for this snowflake look. So all different, all pretty. Um, this one isn't as high. I could go back in and add another layer if I wanted to, but I just wanted to give you guys the outcome of these four glitter um, paste that we did okay so I promised you guys we would do another experiment today doing something a little different I wanted to show you the stencils again for those of you that didn't catch the video oh I left them upstairs uh, I'll link the video at the end one of them was called snowflake Mandela and the other one was called stellar snowflake they're both from Gina K so I believe this one is stellar snowflake and this one is snowflake Mandela Mandela, Mandela, I don't know. Um, but they, they I washed them so they I left them upstairs by the sink. But they are both Gina K snow um, snowflake stencils and the uh, stencils were $6.99 each on Gina K's website. So speaking of Gina K, I last night told you guys that you can use texture paste and you can foil through the stencil. So I wanted to show you guys that. So I have two here. I don't know if you guys can see, I used one of each stencil again, and you can probably see a little bit of glossiness there. You can certainly leave it like this. It's very pretty just to put the texture paste through, but I did um, put it through and I let these dry overnight. So these are completely 100% dry. They both dried overnight. There you can see the two different stencils that I used, exactly the same paper, the same texture paste, but we're gonna use two different foils today and see how it comes out. So the first foil I have is from Gina K. This is the Gina K Fancy Foils in Sparkling Silver. Um, I will tell you that Honestly, I haven't bought a Gina K foil in a very, very long time after I found Creative Vision Stamps foil. Um, just because of the price point, um, you're getting these sheets instead of a roll. And with the Creative Vision Stamps foil, which is the other one I have here, this one is called Crystal Ballroom. So you can see it kind of looks like shatters there. Um, you get 26 inches by 25 feet where with the Gina K you're getting 12 sheets of six inches by eight inches so um, you're not getting nearly as much and I like I just cut this piece here and now I have a tiny sliver which is 
it's like a two inch piece. So to me, it's like, I can't cut it to size. So I stopped buying this foil and I really only use the Creative Vision Stamps foil. So, but I just wanted to do a comparison. If you have this foil, it's still okay foil. It's not terrible or anything. Um, but I just prefer the Creative Vision Stamps foil because in my opinion, you get more. And because it's in a roll, you're able to cut it as needed and there's a lot less waste. So that that's the only statement I'm making there. Okay, so I'm going to use my mink transfer um, sheets with both of these. We should be okay with them. And I am just going to dust off because there was a lot of glitter on the desk yesterday. A lot of stuff. Just want to make sure that we're still doing the dust off and the back of the foil, which is the non-sparkly side. It's going to be matte or just not as sparkly as the front side. And I, like I said, cut this down to fit, so we should be okay. And I have my mink heating up here on level three, which you can probably hear kind of making some popping noises. And we will do the same for this other piece. I can see little pieces of glitter in there. And uh, this is neat too, because the texture paste is not completely perfect. There are some highs and lows in the texture paste with the way that it dried. So there's some kind of hills and valleys. So we'll see how that affects how our foiling looks. But yeah, if you have stencils, I've shown this before, you can um, you know stretch your stencils a little bit by using them with foil. Just the slightest edge off of here. Remember, always keep your scraps. We have other projects we can use them on. Even tiny pieces like this. Okay, so this one's done. And again, the secret to foiling is you wanna let it cool down. So basically with the mink machine or your laminator, if you're going to use a laminator, make sure your laminator has been on and warming up for at least a half an hour. You want it on the highest setting, which I would say is um, five milliliters um, and so on. Just waiting for that to come through and you want it to cool down so what the texture paste is doing when it goes through your machine is it's it's heating up the texture paste so this texture paste is getting um, uh, heated up and when it does that it's basically um, making it sticky again and then as it cools down it'll cool rapidly the foil will stick to your texture paste okay so we've run those through and if you're not getting good coverage and you're using a laminator, try to shim your paper. A laminator is going to be a little different than a mink because a mink is designed specifically for this um, hot foil process where um, a laminator is used to working at a much lower temperature. You need a much higher temperature and you need pressure. So you may have to shim your paper in order to get uh, good results. So this one's pretty cool. Right, very, very pretty. So you can see right here there is one spot where the, um, actually there's one couple spots over here. So what happened is when I was applying the texture paste, I didn't have it even there. So there's some, like I said, hills and valleys. So those areas, the foil couldn't get down in there. A couple things you can do. You can take a glue pen and put the glue pen in there. And then once the glue pen dries, let me show you, like a zig marker, quickie glue. This will become tacky once this dries and we can go back in and fill in this white area. Okay. And that's really the only places, there's not a lot of places that it missed. And honestly, once you put your sentiment on there and it, most people aren't gonna pick it up. Now for this spot over here, where I must have had some extra texture paste and the foiling stuck to it. 
I'm just going to take a little mono sand eraser and erase that right off. And you can pick up your mono sand eraser at most big box art stores. I got mine from Blick. And just kind of lift up some of that extra foiling. So that one came out pretty nicely. That was using the Gina K Sparkling Silver Foil. Let's reveal the Creative Vision Stamps Foil. Wow, so pretty. I love doing that reveal. So same thing lots of sparkle there i missed one it looks like only one spot in the middle there really it's hard to see because the facets in this foil so we're going to put a little bit down here i missed a spot down here it's harder to see it with this foil because the foil has so many facets to it well wow, little spots in this one and again, that has nothing to do with the foil. It just has to do with the way the texture paste was applied. It's never going to be perfect. And we want to keep our negative pieces because we can reuse these. We can foil these on, on plain black toner sheets. And then we can have two designs. So you don't want to throw this foil away. You can reuse it. So we're going to give these a second just to dry and get tacky. While we're waiting, I have the new Gina K foil. Well, it's not new. It's new to me. Uh, Gina K foil mates um, toner sheets you get four sheets in here uh, I think it's just called large snowflakes large snowflakes so since we have our mink out and since we have our foil out we might as well try foiling these right going to cut this down the card front size now I already noticed it does not go edge to edge like the creative vision stamps foilables so I need to be careful with cutting this down otherwise I'm going to have an edge on each side oops I should have probably thought about that all right so I'm going to cut this white edge off so it's going to be slightly smaller than five and a half I don't like that now that I have to think about how to cut my paper. Okay, so we want four and a quarter, but we need to leave a seam allowance here. A seam allowance, listen to me. Um, I'm gonna let for that white space on the edge there. So I don't, don't want any white space. Okay, so that's almost five and a half by four and a quarter. Same thing for this one. So see, this one's gonna be short because of that white edge. That kind of, that kind of bothers me a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna cut this one. I guess I'll cut this one down to five and a quarter by four. It's the only way to do it. That's a bummer. All right, anyway, uh, let me grab some foil out. Will that fit? Mm. All right, so this is what I mean about not being wasteful. These are two extra pieces that came off the end. I could use both of these together, but then there's going to be a seam. So really, I have to get a whole new piece of foil out. So again, I just, I just like the rolls of foil better because then I'm not wasting anything. And you want to be careful because a lot of times there's two sheets stuck together, which there was in this case. So now we're gonna cut this down. We're gonna do one in the Creative Vision Stamps foil and one in the Gina K foil. Okay, so, 
going to dust off our foil mate. Dust off the back side of our foil. Creative Vision Stamps foil. I'm going to use that same foil crystal ballroom. And real easy, cut it to size, no waste. A little extra piece in the bottom there. off those two pieces this one's done we want to give it a second to cool while those are cooling I believe our glue is now dried so we're just going to take the edge of the foil here and just place it down over our glue and yes it will pick up any of those spots where I put the zig glue remember exactly where I put it. Okay, so it fills in any of those spots that maybe got missed. And we can go back in with this one and fill in the spots. So again, if you wanted to do that, that's fine. I don't really mind the imperfections in it because I think it looks kind of cool with the, that shattered effect there. So we'll look at those again in a second. All right, so now these are done. These are just using the toner sheets, the pre-printed toner sheets. Very pretty. And again, we're going to keep our negatives and reuse those. So you can see very pretty, very high shine on there. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but this is why I stopped using them. I don't know if it's going to change. We'll see with different foil. But on the very edges of the designs where there is intricate, intricate, tiny designs, the foil is actually not adhered properly, so it kind of flakes up. And I don't think the camera is going to be able to pick that up. But along the very edges of some of the designs, it actually will lift and the black part of the, of the design will show. So it's like it doesn't get full adhesion and that just drives me nuts. Now it's not as bad on this one. There's just a couple of tiny spots. And like I said, the camera's probably not even gonna pick it up. It's just because I knew that it happened before in here that it just, the foil just lifts and flakes off. Anyway, all right. Let's see if it's the foil or if it's just the design of the print. Okay, so this is the Creative Vision Stamps foil. And again, what I'm doing is just, I'm really looking over the top of the whole design and seeing if any of the foil has lifted. And there is a little bit right here. So I think it's the design. It's a lot better with the Creative Vision Stamps foil. I think it just adhered better. There's a lot less of it lifting. And I know it's so minuscule and you really have to get down and put your eyes into it to see it. But there's definitely a difference like on the tiniest, tiniest of snowflakes. You can see where it's just, it's not properly adhering but it's not doing that over here so I think part of it is the design and part of it is the foil but still very pretty and the average person probably isn't even going to notice so you know not a big deal anyway so those are the Gina K foil mates using 
uh, Creative Vision Stamps foil. So I just want to show you guys it is interchangeable that you can use your own foil with these. Um, we did the stenciling through a snowflake stencil with the texture paste. Very pretty. Let's put these foils on the right side. And then again, we have the glitter gel comparisons with, um, and I'll link yesterday's video in the comments and at the end for you guys. If you have any questions, post them down below. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.